Charlotte from the Outreach Team at Age UK Norwich and today I'm going to be talking you through step by step how to join Zoom on your PC or laptop. So Zoom is really great for staying in touch with people and for joining in with online activities. The only downside to joining Zoom on a PC or laptop is that it's just fractionally more complicated. Um, but I'm going to talk you through it step by step and if you are willing to put in the time to set it up on your PC or laptop you do get the benefit of a bigger screen so you can see more of what's going on. So if at any point you need to pause the video and just go back over things um, and try again then that's fine you can do that. Let's get started. Okay so First things first, you're going to need to open up your internet browser. So I'm using Google Chrome. For you, that might be Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and there's lots of others that I can't think of right now. Whichever browser you're using, go to the search bar and type in Zoom. And when you find it, click on zoom.us. And you should have a screen that looks like this. Now, if it's the first time you've been on the Zoom website, it's likely you'll see a pop-up about cookies. Unfortunately, they're not the edible kind, um, but we'll just agree and proceed for now anyway. And close. And your screen should look like this. Don't forget, if you need to pause and go back over things, you can. And we're going to sign up. So we're going to go up to the top right hand corner and click the sign up it's free button and you should see something like this. You can fill in your date of birth and click continue. And then it should look like this. Now it asks for your work email address, it doesn't have to be a work email address, it can be a personal email address, it doesn't matter. So fill that in and click sign up. So you can see that they've sent an email for me to click and confirm. So you'll need to go to your emails, wherever that is for you, and find the email from Zoom. And it should look a little bit like this. So there's a big blue button in the middle that says activate account. You'll want to click on that. And are you signing up on behalf of a school? No, I'm not. Continue. Here we are, so it should look like this. And you just need to fill in your details and click continue. See so down the bottom it says, there's a big orange button that says invite, and then there's one to the right that says skip this step. I would click that one, skip this step. Now here, you're not ready to start your test meeting yet. So go up to the top where the writing is blue and click join a meeting. So if you're coming to one of our Cupper and Chats, you probably have a meeting ID. So this is where you would enter in that number and click the join button. And your computer will start downloading uh, the file now, the Zoom file. Now this is going to look different on all different kinds of computers. Um, but likely your computer will just lead it, lead it itself. It will help you out and do it for you. Um, so if it says, you know, do you want to install this file? Click yes, um, and the program should just lead you through it. This is what it looks like on my computer. So it just leads you through it. You just have to click yes and continue. And after that, this should pop up. You're there. You've got Zoom. Woohoo! As you can see, uh, Zanula is about to do a Dance to Health class on Zoom. So click Join, and this is where you're going to enter in uh, the meeting ID. And just double check that your name is correct, so everyone else can see your name when you join. It might ask for a passcode, depends how the host has set it up. That'll be the password. Click Join. And this is the last screen that you will see before your meeting starts. So when your host starts the meeting, you'll be let in automatically and your work here is done. Ta-da! 
It's worth pointing out that you will only have to do this once. It feels long-winded, but once it's done, it's done. And the next time you want to join a meeting, you'll just have to open the program on your computer, click join, and enter in the meeting ID and password. That's it. So I would always recommend if you know you're going to a meeting and you haven't got Zoom set up already, just give yourself an extra half an hour before the session just to make sure that it's all installed and all sorted so you're not rushing around at the start of the meeting trying to get it ready. And once it's done, your next meeting will be easy peasy. So that, my friends, is how you join Zoom via a PC or a laptop. Uh, do get in touch if you have any problems or other queries, we can give you a hand. Happy Zooming!